Are you ready for some <coughs> tough questions? You're going to be fair. Are you I'm going to be fair. Just be fair. But last time I remember you saying to me, bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. No, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for fairness. You're going to get fairness. But you're okay with some tough questions. No, you're not okay with tough questions. Well, to be fair, you, you don't ask Biden tough questions. Me? Huh? I don't even It's terrible. I don't even do you. You. <laughs> you know that. Okay, are you ready? ready? Everybody ready? We're out. Okay. Can I start? One, one second. Close the door. Have you a little dog? Should be fine. Am I okay? You're good. Okay. okay. Yep. I'm ready. So we have the pandemic. On your watch, we've had racial strife, we've had looting. Why do you want this job? Why do you want to be president again? Because we've done a great job and it's not finished yet. And when I finish, this country will be in a position like it hasn't been maybe ever. Uh, the economy is already roaring back and uh, other people aren't going to bring it back. Certainly the person that we're dealing with is not going to bring it back. They're going to raise taxes. They're going to take away your Second Amendment. They're going to do things that nobody would even believe. It's radical. There's never been anything like it. No. Let me we, are, you. we are positioned me, like never before. We're going to have a fantastic year next year. Let me ask you what you think your uh, the biggest domestic priority is for you right now. Uh, well, ultimately, let, let me, and I'll tell you, it was happening. We created the greatest economy in the history of our country. And the other side you was know coming that, you in. You know that's not true. It is totally true. Yeah. Best unemployment numbers, best employment numbers, 160 million people working, highest stock market price. You wouldn't say that to Biden, would you just said to me? If he had it, if he had it, you would never say that to Biden. We had the best stock market price ever, and we're getting close to that price again. We had the best, everything was the best. Our companies were doing better than they've ever done before. You cannot even think about talking about that. Well, I don't, I'm not going to fact check you. Know. Well, you don't have to fact I'm check me. I mean, excuse but, me. But, the stock yeah. market was at its highest. The unemployment numbers for African Americans, for Asian Americans, for Hispanic Americans, for everybody were the best. Every number, virtually every number was the best. We had the best economy ever. And what was happening is things were coming well, together. Well, I asked you what your single biggest well, no, was. I'm going, I, I'm going to say that. Oh. And the other side was starting to call, let's get together. There was going to be unity. And then we got hit with the plague and we had to do it again. And we closed it up and I saved millions of lives, millions of lives we saved. And now the economy is growing again at record numbers, 11.4 million people employed in the last short what period of time. what's the priority? I mean, those are all the yeah, things. The what priority you now so? is to get back to normal get back to where we were, to have the economy rage and be great with jobs and everybody be happy. And that's where we're going and that's where and, we're heading. And who is our biggest foreign adversary? I would say China. They're an adversary. They're, they're a competitor. They're a foe in many ways, but they're an adversary. Uh, I think what happened was disgraceful. Should never have happened. Should They should never have allowed this plague to get out of China and go throughout the world, 188 countries, should never have happened. So there, so- Leslie, like, one second, please. Um, one, two, What's wrong? The, 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 the flag is wobbling, I think, because it's under, was Van Hoek, perhaps, behind you, Tom. His hair's coming down a little bit. <laughs> um, it's going to be you, right? It doesn't look nice blowing No, it's, it's distracting, oh, really? I can see it. Yes, from the arrow. I think we're better, guys. I'm, I'm going yeah. with or without you it's guys. Let's go. Okay. okay. At this stage, four years ago, you were behind in the polls. You won out, and you pulled it out. But this time, you have kind of a double migraine. You have unemployment claims going up. You have COVID cases going up. I mean, it's like the gods have suddenly decided decided to conspire against you. I don't think so at all. No, I think well, we've done a great job these, with COVID. Yeah, and we've hired, numbers are going up excuse so. me, 11.4 million people. Why? Because the last report was a little bit, just a little bit off. And this no. is without... Sir, excuse me. Cases are up in about 40 okay, states. Okay, you know why cases are up also? Because we do more testing. If we didn't do testing, cases would be way down. Yeah, but why are you saying they're not up? 
You know, Pete, you're saying things that people I, no, no, what see. I'm saying to you, Leslie, is the following. We do more testing than any country in the world by far. Second is India with 1.5 billion people. We do more testing. If we did half the testing, we'd have half the cases. If we did no testing, like many countries, we would have very few cases. Because we do so much testing, the fake news media loves to say cases are up. The fact is we've done a very, very good job. Cases are up. We have done, that's right, because we're doing so much testing. Okay. Cases, will you at least say cases are up? Yes, cases are okay. up because we are doing tremendous testing and we're finding where there's a problem. Testing is a good thing, but it's also very misleading. When you're out there saying we've turned the corner, this thing is disappearing. That's and right, we have turned the corner. See, we have turned people the corner. can see cases going up all over the, in the Midwest, in the Mountain West. Record numbers of cases. We have turned in the corner. States. We understand the disease. We understand the elderly, and we're taking care of them at a level like nobody's ever taken care of the elderly, especially the elderly with diabetes problems, heart problems. We are taking care of them like nobody's ever taken care of them. We also understand youth 99.9%. .9%. As an example, Barron had it, and it was gone in no time. It was just like he had it, it was gone. Hardly knew he even had it. So we are taking care of our people, but uh, we've done a great job with the ventilators, with the equipment, with stocking governors that were not stocked. We've made a lot of governors look very good that shouldn't look good, and that's okay with me. Okay, let me, let me ask you something about suburban women. Yeah. You said the other day to suburban women, will you please like me, please? Oh, please? I didn't say that. You know, that's so misleading the way you, I say jokingly, suburban women, you should love me because I'm giving you security and I got rid of the worst regulation. See, the way you said that yeah. is why people think of you and everyone else as fake news. I said kiddingly, suburban women, women you should love me. I got rid of a regulation that would bring low-income housing into suburbia that is destroying, that would destroy suburbia. And I said that in a joking way. The way you have it, it's like, oh, like I'm begging. I, I'm kidding. Play it. And I'm kidding. That is such a misleading question, Leslie. But you're behind the suburban women in the polls. I doubt it. I doubt it. I really doubt it. One of the I'm things saving suburbia. He's going to destroy suburbia. He's got a regulation, which I terminated, that he would put back. And even worse, that will destroy that will bring low-income housing projects into suburbia. And women understand that, and they've really learned about it over the last two, three weeks. I terminated the worst regulation you could possibly have. It's gone. And suburban women appreciate it. They want security, they want safety. Look, I've been endorsed by almost every police department, almost every law enforcement group in the country. He's been endorsed by almost nobody. Suburban women want security. But the polls show that you're behind with uh, them. And one of the reasons, let me you're say You're not looking this, at recent polls. One of the reasons is that they don't feel you're being upfront about the pandemic. And so, when you say, we're, you know, there are fewer, we're rounding the corner. And we you are tell Bob Woodward that we you deliberately the like to downplay this. We are rounding the corner. Are you we're rounding the corner, we're doing it? well. We're doing well, we understand the disease. I saved millions of people, you know, 2.2 million people were supposed to die. You go back and you look at your models, models, 2.2 million people. We saved tremendous numbers of people. Plus, I closed it very early from China, heavily infected, and even from Europe, heavily infected. We've done a good job. We've done maybe a great job. What we haven't done a good job on is convincing people like you because you're really quite impossible to convince, but that's okay. And the economy now is coming back, and it's coming back very strongly. And people see that, Leslie. There are more unemployment claims. And the economy has kind of... Leslie, we just picked up 11.4 million jobs. It's the largest number in the history of our country in a short period of time. I mean, how, how Leslie, can you ignore that? You know, we just picked up 11.4 million jobs. It's in a short period of time. It's the largest number in the history of our country. So are you denying that the unemployment claims have gone up? Is that what, what I'm saying is happen? we got hit by something. Sure. Not my fault, not no, your fault. No. We got hit from something that came out of China. 
I got stuck with it. And let me tell you, before it happened, we were doing so good, and now we're going to be doing, and we are, we are doing good. But well, look at look at it as an example. Last week, a few days ago, Gallup did a poll. 56% of the people said that they're better off now during a pandemic than they were during Obama and Biden. 56%. It was a record number. Right? Yes, but I want to know if you're, if you're what, ignoring the fact that there are unemployment claims? No, I don't ignore it. Okay, but well, what, what, what are you saying about well, What I'm saying is that we got hit with somebody. It's not our fault. We I got know, hit. And we've mean? done a good job. Not a good job. We've done a great job. Remember that number, a very important number. 56% say they're happier now than they were four years ago under Biden and Obama, right? I'll put his name first. Biden and Obama. And they didn't have a pandemic, although Biden did have a big problem with H1N1, which he says in reverse, with the H1N1 swine flu, and it was a disaster. And his own chief of staff said it was a total disaster. They didn't know what they were doing. Well, can we go back for one second to the pandemic? Because um, you called Dr. Fauci and other health officials idiots. And Dr. I'm wondering, Fauci, I'm wondering if you where think, did I call him an idiot? I'm wondering where, if you Where did I call him an idiot? You called them idiots. I wonder if well, you he's been think, wrong a lot. I like him, but he's been I, wrong. I wonder if you think that masks don't work. Is well, Dr. Fauci saying? originally said, you know, it's a very no, complex subject. What do you say? Do you say well, let, me, let me just tell you, you work. mentioned Dr. Dr. Fauci said, don't wear masks. Then he said, wear them. Uh, what do you I think? say that I, I feel masks possibly work. But certainly you want to stay away a certain distance, socially distance, etc. But I would say a mask works. And I have nothing against masks. And I tell people to wear masks. I have well, no tell problem. me then about these rallies you've been having. A lot of people With are wearing people, masks a and lot they're of outside. People aren't. I, I'm watching all these people jammed in together and I'm seeing most of them without yeah. masks. And I'm wondering the message that you're sending with these pictures coming up. Take a look. Those. Yesterday, we were in Arizona, record-setting rallies, numbers of people like nobody's seen before. We many, many masks. I watched. You, what? What? You used to have bigger rallies. No, these are much bigger than I ever had. I don't want to be the girl over there. You know, Tell you, me you're so negative. Rally. You're so negative. These are the biggest rallies we've ever had. You just come in here with that negative attitude. These are the biggest rallies we've ever had. We are having numbers like we've never had. Tell me about the There masks. is more, excuse me, no, but you made a statement. There is more enthusiasm right now for us than we ever had before, ever. And you will see that in a short period of time. Well, what about the masks? A lot of people are wearing masks. I mean, I looked yesterday, a lot of people were, and it's outdoor. They want it outdoor, and we're doing it outdoor. But I can't believe after what happened in the Rose Garden here, after the announcement, with all the people getting sick, yeah. that you are not being more strongly encouraging about wearing masks I, at your I tell people to wear but masks. you don't. Leslie, we hand out thousands of masks. But you look out, and you're not wearing them. And you don't say, please, put on well, your Well, you've been looking yesterday. Take a look, at, uh, take a look yesterday in Arizona. Everybody behind me. But I'm looking at other places. I'm looking at Wisconsin, which is a hot spot right, right now. Right, right. A lot of people had masks. And it was outside. Masks. And you don't get up there and say, look, you know, okay. come on. Go ahead. What's, you, you what's your next sick? question, Leslie? We're outside. The rallies are bigger than they've ever been. There's more enthusiasm than we've ever had. There has never been anything like what you're witnessing now, and you'll see that soon. Okay, but I'm asking you about masks, not about the size of the rallies. I'm asking why you commented saying, on the size of the rallies. You I'm said asking, they're not as big as they used to be, and I'm telling you they're much bigger. Okay, but I'm asking you now about the masks. Why aren't you getting up there and saying, I, I have it, I don't want you to get it, so please put your mask on. We hand out masks to everybody that comes to the rally. We tell them to wear the masks. And you don't, and they love you. Oh, I don't they, know, Leslie. If I tell they them heard wear you them. say it, I have no problem. No they problem. They love you. They would Next pay question, go ahead. Go to ahead. anything you said. Okay. Uh, I hope you're right. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this is important. 
Um, okay, I'll ask you another health question. Okay. okay. Um, you promised that there was going to be a new health package, health care plan. Yeah. Um, you said that it was going to be great. You, you said it's ready. It's going to be it ready. Be. It's all ready. It'll be here in two weeks. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before. And of course, we haven't seen it. So why didn't you develop the health plan? It is developed. It is fully developed. It's going to be announced very right. soon when we see what happens over with Obamacare, over. which is not good. And when we see what happens with Obamacare. But if the Supreme Court and it will be much less expensive than Obamacare, which is a disaster. And it will take care of people with pre-existing conditions. But your plan was to repeal and replace. And if the Supreme Court finishes Obamacare, there will be all these people stranded. No, there there's will. no replacement. We will make a deal and we will have a great health care plan but you keep with saying that. less expensive, uh, less expensive and a much better plan. Why haven't we seen it? Uh, you have seen it. I've been putting out pieces all over the place, and we actually have plans. And we have 180 million people right now have a plan, and you haven't been watching. You haven't been watching. But what about the pre-existing people with pre-existing conditions? If the Supreme Court are protected, will be totally protected. Oh. They'll be protected, oh. Leslie. I mean, the people with oh. pre-existing conditions are going to be oh. protected as they are now. How? In any plan we do, the they will be protected. Leslie, people with pre-existing conditions will be always protected, always. But if, if the Supreme Court ends this with Obamacare, um, well, we'll have to see what happens. It's got a ways to go. I mean, we'll see what happens. I think, I think it'll end. Uh, I think, I, I hope that they end it. It'll be so good if they, if end, they end because, it, because we will come up with a plan, will. which will be a yeah we will. But you said it would already. We have large sections of it already done, and we've already come up with plans. Take a look at your various secretaries, various plans that we've already come up with, and also, you know, a large part of this country has private health insurance. Yes. One hundred and eighty million people, and under that. Biden, he doesn't have any clue. But under that, 180 million people will lose their health care. And they'll go to socialized medicine. And that's not going to be acceptable. Okay. 180 million people, Leslie, will go to socialized medicine. It and won't if, be, it, it will not be acceptable. And if the Affordable Care Act is determined to be under Then we're going to have a new, whatever. then we're going to have new, and there it's going to be very good. And yeah, it's going to keep saying that and don't show it to us. And so people with pre-existing We've come up with many plans, Leslie, and we have their already in existence. If I'll tell you what, after this interview, I will show you short term, longer term. I'll show you different plans. We've come up with many plans. And we cut the individual mandate out. You know, the individual mandate is gone. That was the worst part of Obamacare. That's gone. Okay, I, all of that. I grant you all of that. But if if there's no plan, a replacement plan, right. and the Supreme Court says that Obamacare goes away, people with pre-existing conditions will be stranded. No. And that's just a fact. It's wrong. It's no. wrong. A new plan will happen. But will. And we won't do anything will and is. We won't do anything and no plan unless we have pre-existing conditions covered. And the individual mandate, which you don't want to mention, was terminated. It was terminated. Individual mandate was terminated. That is the biggest thing that's happened. And that actually makes Obamacare not Obamacare. Because under that, you would pay a fortune for the privilege of not having to pay for bad health insurance. We got it terminated. Terminated through the legislature. Signed. Done. That means Obamacare is no longer Obamacare. We got rid of the most important element of Obamacare, and it was the worst element of Obamacare that nobody wanted, nobody liked. So Obamacare essentially was terminated as we know it. Now we have the carcass of Obamacare. Well, part of the carcass we've managed it well. Leslie, we've managed it well. You know, I had a choice to make. When we get rid of the individual mandate, nobody believed we could do that, and I did it. I had a choice to make. 
do I manage the remainder of whatever's left of this whole thing called Obamacare, which is no good? Do I manage it well or manage it badly? If I manage it well, Man. Politically, maybe that's not well, good. I decided it? to manage it well. Do you want to leave it? I mean, no, I don't want to leave it. I want to see what happens. It? Here's what happens. Well, but we may be stuck it? with it if we lose in the Supreme Court, in which case we're wasting a lot of words. If we win, we will come up with a much, and we will do that, come up with a much better health care for much less money, always protecting people with pre-existing conditions. Um, are you going to say that you didn't say this? Because I saw you say this. Oh, no, you're, you're only trying to. I wish you. I wish you would interview Joe Biden like you interview me. It would be so good. You know what? You the, like this? The, I thought. I thought. You had I, don't a I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But when I watch him walk out of a store, he's in the midst of a scandal. His family is corrupt. Okay, he's corrupt. He's a corrupt politician, and he's walking with a ice cream. And the question the media asks him, what kind of ice cream, what flavor ice cream do you have? And he's in the midst of a scandal. He's not. And he's taking, he's of course not. he is, no. Leslie. Come on. Of course he is. You See know, that? You the Senate so you're like, you're like, you're like big tech. You're protecting him. And everyone is, except for yeah, but you're exact, people. You're, you're taking something that was investigated Leslie, by let, a let Republican ask, let me ask committee. You. you think it's okay for the mayor of Moscow's wife to give him millions and millions of dollars, three and a half million dollars, to give his family three and a half. Do you think it's okay for Hunter Biden to say, to say that we're giving, we're giving the big guy 10% of this massive amount of money they're taking in? Do you think it's okay for all of these horrible things that you've seen where they're getting hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars, where China gives them a billion and a half dollars to manage the family, a billion and a half dollars, and then he's supposed to negotiate. Let me tell you, it's the biggest, second biggest scandal. So the biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. They spied on my yeah, campaign, There's Leslie. no real evidence of that. Of course there is, no. it's all over the place. Leslie, Sir, they spied on my campaign and they got called. Can I say something? You know, this is 60 Minutes, and we can't put on things we can't verify. You won't put it on because it's bad for Biden. We can't Look, put on you. things we can't verify. Leslie, they spied and on my campaign. We can't it's been totally verified. No. It's been just go down and get the papers. They spied on my campaign. They got caught. No. And then they went much further than that, and they got caught. And you will see that, Leslie. And you know that, but you just don't want to no. put it on the air. As a matter of fact, I don't know that. Okay. And you're out so there. So why don't you get back to your interview and let's go. Uh, all right. Um, so you said in the briefing room, nobody likes me. I can o it can only be my personality. I said that jokingly. That is sarcastic. Nobody likes me. It must be my personality. I say it all the time. Nobody likes me. It must be my personality. I say it all the time, Leslie. Do you think that your tweets and your name calling are turning people off? No, I think I wouldn't be here if I didn't have social media because the media is uh, the corrupt. Media In my opinion, about. the media is corrupt. But, you know, but you the media me. is fake. And frankly, if I didn't have social media, I'd have no way of getting out my voice. You know what you told me a long time ago when I asked why you keep saying fake in yeah. media? Yeah. You said to me, I say that because I need to dis uh, discredit you so that when you say negative things about me, no one will believe me. I don't have to discredit you. But that's what you've you told me. You've discredited yourself. You told me that. Leslie, you've discredited yourself. When you say that you're not going to cover Biden, you're going to ask him what flavor ice cream he has, okay? That's not Instead true. of why did Hunter get three and a half million dollars from Moscow? Instead of why is an energy company paying your son $183,000 a month or whatever they're paying him? And he has no experience in energy. You know, you discredit yourself. I don't have to discredit so, you. So this story about Hunter and his laptop, some repair shop found it. The source is uh, Steve Bannon and Rudy Giuliani. I don't know anything about and that. I just know it's a laptop and, and they haven't. And you're making this one of the hottest, most important issues in your rallies. 
I, mean, I don't know about the two gentlemen the you mentioned. This is an important I, issue in the country. It's right a very now. important issue to from find out whether top. or not a man's corrupt who's running for president, who's accepted money from China <laughs> and from Ukraine and from Russia. All these yeah, I think that's have an important been investigated issue. Investigated and discussed. It's right. incredible the way you can try and say this and sit there and look me in the eye and say it. A Republican he accepted committee. money, his family, from Russia, from Ukraine, from China, and from other places. And a his brother, who didn't have experience, became a big builder in Iraq without experience. Take a look at what's going on, Leslie. And then you say uh, that shouldn't be discussed. I'm saying... It's the biggest scandal out there, Leslie. And you think it's the biggest issue to campaign on? I think it's this. I think it's one of the biggest scandals I've ever seen, and you don't cover it. Biggest you want to talk about? Well, because it can't be verified. You want to talk I'm about insignificant you. things? I'm telling you. Of course, it can be verified. Excuse we, me. We they found the laptop, it. Leslie. It Leslie. Can't be verified. What can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Because even the family verified. hasn't. The family on the laptop. He's gone into hiding. For five days, he's gone into hiding. He's preparing for your debate. Oh, it's taken him five days to prepare? I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So let's get back to the name calling, okay? And, and whether you think it's turning people off. No, I think, look, it is what it is. Biden stupid. Where are we sitting there? Where, where are we sitting? In the Rose Room. Of what? Of the White House. That's right. How did I get here? How did I get here? We're in the White but House. But what are you saying? Oh, but by name calling, you think that no, that's not by name calling, by you know, doing the right thing, and we've we have a great record. I mean, we got hit by a pandemic. Wasn't my fault, but was it? It was China's fault. But but Leslie, the we're in the White House. The press is very biased, very very biased, and and I'm not talking You're about name calling. I'm talking about us. no. Yes. No, I'm not. You're discrediting yourself, Leslie. No, you are. Leslie, you're discrediting yourself. When you don't go after Biden, when Why with the corruption in the Biden about family. Going after Biden? You've asked me five. When you don't, times. when you don't go after uh, what happened in the Russia witch hunt, which turned out to be a total phony with no collusion, no collusion whatsoever. When you don't do that, you discredit yourself. The press, you know, is highly discredited right now. You do know that, so you discredit yourself. Half, I don't know where you're going here. half the country loves you, but the other half doesn't. And I'm wondering why you don't. They were starting to, Leslie. When the economy was prior to the, just prior to the, you know, to the plague, they were starting to really like, we were all starting to like each other. It was coming together. There was going to be a lot of I've heard you say that before. I don't think okay. that they we're coming and I'm together. Just telling you, I think we've had to People were calling me. Unfortunately. People were calling me about coming together. And then we got hit by the plague. And now we're rebuilding it again. And it's going well. And are you, do you think that you do anything to unify the country? I do. I think I do unify the country. I think I will unify the country. It's called success. When our country becomes again. What about the rabid partisanship in the country? Do you take any responsibility for the country being divided against itself? Do you feel that? I'd like not to, but you know, perhaps everybody has to take a little responsibility for it. But when people put out phony witch hunts, you know, when they spy on your campaign, you have to fight back. And if you don't fight back, you're not sitting here very long. You go back home. I'm, I'm, you go back home to mommy. I'm, 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 I've been listening to you. I don't know how long we've been here. And it's just attack, 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 attack. I don't think so. I mean, look, I, I, it's not attack. It is. It's defense. It's defense no, against I, attacks. No, you've been attacked. You've been. It's defense against you, attacks. You're very aggressive. I don't think so. I mean, I don't view it that way. I'm defending myself, and I'm defending the institution of the presidency. Very important. Thing. Can Can you? Um, I might be having a good time, Mike. Watching. <laughs> you know Mike, right? Our great vice president. I do. You think she'd ask questions like this of? Uh, wow! You, uh, you, you I don't think so. That. You think can she'd you, ask questions like this of Joe? You, I don't think so. Can you um, can you um, characterize uh, your supporters? Can you 
Yeah, I think I can. People that love our country. And people that don't want to see the uh, stores get looted and burned down. And people that don't want to see riots. And they don't want to see anarchists. Yeah, I think I can. These are I mean, people that love our country. You might, and they don't like to see, but you don't see they don't like to see policemen get shot and not be able to defend themselves. They don't like to see rioting in the middle of Fifth Avenue or in the middle of other streets in Portland or other places. And they like it when their president gets the endorsement of virtually every police group and frankly, almost everybody having to do with law and order, positive law and order. But you know what they are? The people that love our country more than anything else and they like to see our country thrive. But do you think that when you hold rallies and encourage people to say, lock her up, the way you I don't think? encourage them. They say it. And you Hillary Clinton, you let, let me just say, do Hillary that. Clinton deleted, she deleted 33,000 emails after she got a subpoena from the United States why, Congress. Why does, why no, no, that's that, illegal. I know, but why, now, why somebody about, doesn't do know. something but about why it? Why is this still an issue? Why do I think it's an issue. Gonna vote to me, that. it's an issue. She ran last time. Excuse me. When they say lock up, it's not me. They say it. It starts, it, it ends up being it. I don't encourage it. Yes, no, right. if I mention her name about something, they go crazy. Well, what about the governor of Michigan who had, had this plot that people, people were going to. People, I, think I don't know anything about the plot, but I can tell I'm you this. Telling you about it was plot. our Justice Department that is the one that's helping her. Yeah. My Justice Department, if you call it that. Yeah. It was yeah. our Justice Department that's helping her. And, you know, people aren't so, they're not liking her so much because she's got everybody locked down. Now, we just want a Supreme Court where it's unconstitutional. The only one she doesn't have locked down is her husband who went sailing and did things that he wasn't supposed to be doing. You are very powerful. And the people who love you, love you with passion. And if you go after somebody the way you've been going after her, they I take it to after. heart and they, then there are plots and threats and the I same with Dr. Her. You did. I've helped her. It was you our Justice her. Department you, you that's helping her. her. Oh, I do criticize her, yeah. Well, I think the way happen. she locked down Michigan is a disgrace. But the way she closed churches in Michigan is a disgrace. I, yeah, I think it's disgraceful what she's done. I do. You want to lock and her And by up. the way, that's other, of course not. That's other, that's other governors also. They happen to be Democrats, and they've closed up their states, and they're causing a lot of problems with these lockdowns. Suicide, drugs, alcohol. A lot of bad things are happening, and they should open up their states carefully, but they should open up Well, when you say open up, you don't say carefully. You say open up. You're not, you don't have, you don't have oh, I say an carefully. aggressive program to say open up with masks, open up with social distancing. The governors run their states. No, we help the them a lot, but the governors you. run their states. You are and the governors have to do what they have to do. But, but when they lock down Michigan, She's doing a tremendous disservice. Well, what about same thing with saying, Pennsylvania, what, same thing with North Carolina. What about These are saying, Democrat governors, and they're doing a great disservice. What about you saying, let's open up, but let's wear masks. Let's well, open I up. Say, you don't, you don't. I say, I'm not against masks at all. But you're not I say, that. sure, I'm a, wear them, wear them. But I also say socially distance. I say all the things, but you know what? Well. Look, with you, nothing I said would be any good less. That's not okay. true, Mr. That's President. okay. But That's in the meantime, we're having a record comeback because if you look, we're the fastest growing nation in the world after this pandemic, by far. And we sunk less than any other nation, relatively speaking. And we're coming back very strong, very, very strong. So you, you don't want to lock up Governor Whitmer, but you want when to did lock, I say up lock her up? I never the Bidens, you want to lock her up? Wait a minute, when Obama. did I say lock her up? When did I say lock up the governor? I didn't say lock up the governor. All right, but you Why would I lock her up? No, but why did you say you don't want to lock up the governor? Of course I don't want to lock her up. Why would I lock her because up? Because you were in front of a rally of people saying it, encouraging it. I never said it, Leslie. 
I never said lock so up the governor. Lock up the governor. Leslie, it's such a vicious thing you just said. I never said lock up the governor of Michigan. I would never say that. Well, did Why you, would I say that? Because well, what about the Biden? She's doing lockdowns. You want to lock up the No, Bidens? I don't want to lock them up, what but they certainly Obama? should be looked at. Obama? You want to lock up Obama? No, I don't want to lock him up, but he spied on my campaign. Do you want to lock Obama up Obama and Biden spied on my campaign. Do you know what that is? Do you know what they did? Do you know how horrible it is what they did? But you it's don't, never you been don't verified. Get it. It's been totally verified, no. Leslie. Sorry. It's, you'll find out, but it's been totally verified. Um, you've all but said that Attorney General Barr should go after President Obama. Now, if you lose, you will be here, okay? If you lose. How would you feel if then President Biden went after you? Oh, he probably will, because I think he's a very dishonest guy. And he probably will look for something. Yeah. Probably will, we'll see. But you know what? Attorney General Barr has been very nice. That's all I can tell you. He's been very nice. Well, He's been very respectful. Him, yeah. He's been very, no, I didn't criticize him. It's just a different personality. They're very lucky. They're very lucky. Because the evidence is overwhelming. And Attorney General Barr is a great gentleman. It's a great gentleman. They are very lucky. I now, I, I can't tell you what's going to happen. I don't know. I know. Because I purposely like to stay out of it. You know what? I don't like to get involved. I can if I want, but I don't like to get involved. But I think they've been very, very lucky. Attorney General Barr is a gentleman. You know, I I didn't want to have this kind of thing. Of course you did. No, I didn't. Of course you did. No, I didn't. Well, then you brought up a lot of subjects that well, I said were I'm inappropriately ask you brought tough up. Questions. They were inappropriately but brought up right from the beginning. You know, your first question was, "This is going to be tough questions." Well, it is. And you set up the interview. Your first statement You're was president. No, don't excuse you think me. You no, should no, be no. Accountable to Listen, the American people. Your first statement to me: This is going to be tough questions. Well, I don't mind that. But when you set up the interview, you didn't say that. You said, "Oh, let's have a lovely interview." And and here's what I do say: So why? You don't ask Joe Biden. I saw your interview with Joe. The interview with I Joe. I never Biden. did a joke. It was Biden. a joke. The interview, sixty minutes. I see Joe Biden giving softball after softball. I've seen all of his interviews. He's never been asked a question that's hard. Okay, but forget him for a minute. No, but you you're start president, with me. You're president. Excuse and me, Leslie, you started with me. Your first statement was, are you ready for tough questions? That's no way to talk. No way to talk. Leslie, one, one second. We're, we're, uh, this is the first warning I think we have. Five minutes until we have the vice president step in. Is that about right? Well, I think we have enough. To, it really, we have enough of yeah, that. I think we're ready for the vice president now. I think we have enough of an interview here. Okay, that's enough. So let's go. Let's go. In fact, uh, let's go meet for two seconds. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you later. Thanks.